Hey there, Earth Signs. Welcome to your reading for, uh, this is going to be a bonus February reading. Uh, thank you, everybody. I wanted to just thank everybody for getting me to 300,000 subs. That's crazy. I uh, never thought in a million years I'd get there. But this is going to be a how to have an unforgettable February uh, 2021 collective for all you Earth Signs. And we're going to look for any advice on how you can have the best month ever this month. And I think if you like this, I'm going to keep doing these readings at the end of every single month as a bonus, uh, because why not? And also, if you're like me and you believe that you create your own reality, then uh, we're just going to ask the cards here with this main spread uh, what you can do or what needs to happen or what could happen. Any tips, tricks, or advice here on what to do for the month of February here for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. I did that in random order, but... Uh, whatever. So earth signs, let's see what we have going on for you here. Uh, you have the opening the door to discovery. Again, could be, um, this came up for the water signs as well here, earth signs. So I feel for you, uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn people, uh, there could be a lot of discovery happening this month. Um, and again, I do find that this happens a lot during retrogrades. We could come up with ideas during retrogrades. And not only that, we can also kind of revisit some old ideas and we can update them during retrograde. So, you know, it drives me nuts when I hear people saying, like, don't do anything during Mercury retrograde. I'm like, well, actually, you know, if you're working on something that you've already worked on in the past, it's like the best time uh, to work on a project or a business idea or any other ideas that you have. So... I do see a lot of success coming in for you uh, with this card. This card says opening to discovery. It's like you're seeing a new world. You know, I would say there's like a keyhole on this card here. And I feel that you're kind of seeing through to a new beginning. You have the six of wands, the five of wands, and the five of pentacles here. I feel that for a lot of you, this is really good. Um, you know, you have the five of wands, five of pentacles. But look, it's like you. I almost feel like this is you. <laughs> I feel like for some of you, it's like while everybody, while the world is in chaos, right? And or while everybody is dealing with confusion and sadness and all this other stuff, you're kind of on your high horse here, for lack of a better term. And I feel like you could be getting a lot of positive attention here. So I would make sure to use that attention the right way. I keep telling people, and it's kind of weird. Like I've seen a lot of these videos on YouTube where people are, they want to talk about like business or something like that. And in a lot of these videos, a lot of the people will say, you know, I'm kind of afraid to talk about money because, you know, of coronavirus and I know people are hurting right now. So I don't want to brag and all this other stuff. But you know what I would say to those people is this right here, Earth Signs, the strength card. I think that being an example at this time, is probably the best thing that you could possibly do. So I feel for a lot of you earth signs, if you're finding success, I mean, share it with the world, show other people what you're doing, because I feel like being an example is actually an amazing way that you could really be helping people this month is by kind of showing off. So I feel like things could be going well for you. And again, we're, you know, of course, there's like a tasteful way to do this. And again, I feel like you could really be being an example for other people this month which I feel like is great. Again, it's like you're, I feel in a lot of ways that you could be the source of hope. And I'm kind of getting that here in this middle row. You don't have any cards of hope yet, but I'm just noticing the stars <laughs> all over your cards here. Even the pentacles, even though you have the five of pentacles, there's still stars on the five of pentacles, stars, stars right here. So I feel that you are kind of going to be the symbol of hope for people potentially here uh, earth signs. So I would use that and I would help people if you can by being an example. For others, if you are in this mode right here, if you are in five of wands, five of pentacles, very common energy. Again, we have Mercury retrograde until February 20th. And, you know, technically we're going to be in the shadow till March, whatever. So really, you know, the entire month of February might as well be a retrograde. And I feel that this is saying if you are in this energy right here. I feel like you need to get attention. So it's if, like if you're looking for love, for example, the six of wands is your solution. It just says get as much attention as you possibly can. For others, it's kind of like, I feel like this whole first row, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take back everything I just said. Well, just the past few words here. I feel like this is saying you don't have to be perfect. You know, I feel like this is saying with this open discovery card, I feel like this is almost saying be okay with being wrong as well. I feel like to me, as I always say, it drives me nuts when 
people say don't start things during retrogrades. I'm always like, we learn 20 times faster, 100 times faster during a Mercury retrograde. To me, Mercury retrograde, we should be going on dates. We should be dating people. We should commit to people. We should make the mistake because it's like, you know what? It is a mistake, but you know, this isn't school. You know, we're not stu still in high school. This is the real world. And mistakes are a good thing. We learn a hundred times faster. I also feel like this could just be saying that again, if you're not finding su uh, success, try new things. Basically, do things you've never done before with that opening to discovery card. I feel like it would be a good time to do things that you maybe think don't work as well uh, with this first row here. I always tell people, it's like even on YouTube, for example, it's like if I listen to half the advice that's out there about how to have a successful YouTube channel wouldn't be successful. I can tell, I cannot tell you how many things I do on this channel that don't work, like according to experts, but have worked amazingly well. I feel like that's what this row is saying, like in business and work, try the other thing. <laughs> try the thing that everybody says doesn't work and you know, see what happens. Will it work? Maybe, maybe not. But I just feel like this is saying kind of like be open to the other side of things, if that makes sense. Uh, so you next you have the starfish here. It says open to infinite possibilities. Again, I do get this like more like hopeful energy. So again, regardless of what's going on, it seems like you're kind of in this good position this month and it kind of seems like you'll be kind of feeling really good. So I feel there's a lot of success for you here, uh, for you Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Uh, you have the page of pentacles, the four wands, and the magician here. It's like freedom. I feel like you're open to freedom here as well. For some of you, uh, this is almost like you are kind of sensing something, I feel. You have the magician. It's funny because the magician is pointing down. There, there are no cards this way here, earth signs, but the magician is pointing down like that, and it's something that I'm kind of note. It's standing out to me. I almost feel there should be something here. Maybe we'll pull an extra card and put it there to see what's supposed to happen, but... I feel like you're sensing something, like a new beginning, and there is definitely a major new beginning coming in for you with this middle row. I feel for some of you, you could be getting like very good news as well with that page of pentacles, so I like that. I also feel with this row that it would be a really good idea for you to like write things down. I'm getting writing here. Um, with this energy. So, you know, this could be you like journaling or, you know, doing any of those other, you know, activity, similar activities, but I am getting writing here. Uh, for others, I just feel that there is a new beginning coming in for you here. Feels like a lot of luck I'm getting on this four of wands as well. Four of wands kind of represents 1111. And so I feel for a lot of you, there could just be kind of like that make a wish type of energy going on here in this reading in this middle row. And I feel like the magician is saying, you know, use your powers of manifestation and get something you want. Uh, next, you have this fork in the road card. Again, water signs had something very similar. To me, this is a, uh, probably astrological. I've only done water in earth so far uh, for this uh, bonus reading. And I feel for a lot of you, there could be like a decision uh, to make here. I, I, I'm getting weird words here, earth signs. I'm getting something about grandmother is popping into my head right now as well. But I feel like it has to do with like a flower or something like that. Don't get me, I get crazy messages sometimes. And I feel like for some of you, it's like maybe you're trying to make a decision. I'm getting something about a flower here that's important to you. Uh, that might just be for one of you out there, but it's almost like one decision. I, I feel like it's related to the flower. Maybe it's like the name of the flower. Maybe you're trying to get a job or something and there's like maybe a person there is named Rose, right? Or something like that. I don't know. I feel like there could be something like that going on here and I feel like you need to make that decision. There's something about a favorite flower popping into my head. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. I mean, I feel like it could be a million things. Obviously, a lot of you are going to watch this and you know, it could be like a love offer. Maybe the person brings you your favorite flower or something like that. I'm, I, get, I have like a million things popping into my head with this. Uh, for others, I just, I just feel like there are choices to make. You have the four cups, the judgment card and the strength card. I feel like you need to trust your inner wisdom here. I feel like saying no, no, no regrets here, uh, earth signs, especially with that four, four of cups, because I feel that for some of you, it's almost like I'm getting this feeling of, I should have done that. <laughs> is popping into my head. So I don't want to freak anyone out. I don't think this is anything to be concerned about here, earth signs. I just feel you could be feeling this pull towards something. I would be careful who you listen to this month with that four of cups, because it's like maybe other people just don't see something that you do. I, I get this and I don't know if this is intuitive. I almost feel like saying this is more knowledge based uh, more than anything. It feels like it's coming from my brain. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best way I can describe it here, earth signs. But I feel like for some of you, it's almost like you see something that other people don't. And I feel like if you allow other people to tell you what to do with that four of cups, it's like you could miss out. So I do feel like saying don't miss 
miss out on something that could be very good for you with that four of cups but it feels almost like a this could be kind of like an opportunity this could be um but it could be like an investment opportunity as well i really feel like you need to trust your kind of more your like knowledge again this is coming more from my brain is that's how i feel um it's kind of hard to describe but uh, i feel for some of you it's like you're doing something you have some knowledge and i feel that if you're making a decision that other people don't agree with they I, I, like i feel like you need to tap into your knowledge it's like you know something other people don't um you also have this um strength card here I really feel that this is more, I don't think this is talking about you being patient or anything like that. I feel like this is who you are this month, Earth signs. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, I feel like you are the kind of like a pillar of strength for people uh, this month. And I feel like that's what you are going to do. So a lot of you could be getting a lot of positive attention. Uh, you could be helping people just by kind of being that pillar of strength. But uh, I love this. So let's clarify here, Earth signs, and see what is coming up for you. Uh, again, feel free to watch your sun, moon, and rising. If you have other signs, make sure to watch those collectives as well. Uh, also, feel free to drop a like. Really appreciate all the support, Earth signs. But uh, let's see what's going on for you uh, for this month and uh, Earth signs. Uh, you have the five wands here. So five wands twice. You have the King of Swords. Remember what I was saying? I knew the King of Swords was going to come up. King of Swords, remember what I said about something being knowledge-based. It's like you have knowledge that other people don't in the Chariot. Yeah, major victories coming in for you here. The Funny enough, the Chariot has stars in his canopy on the Chariot. And the Chariot represents as above, so below. So major manifestation energy here. I also feel like there's a lot of hope coming in for you here this month, Earth signs. There's like a lot of things that are going to be giving you hope. I feel like there are a lot of things that are going to kind of be pushing you forward towards success. I do feel that, again, you could be feeling conflicted. Like I said, remember, you know, I read intuitively. This is why, you know, people always come to my readings and they're like, oh my God, the five of, cup, five of wands, five of pentacles, my month is ruined and all this other stuff, right? It's like, I don't read like that. I don't read tarot like that. And I don't even think that's how it works in the first place. Like I said, and this proves it right here. Six of Wands, Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles. It's like you're doing well, but I feel like you're conflicted because of maybe what's going on in the world. Or maybe things are improving for you, but you're not sure if you want to share. Remember the story I told in the beginning? That story popped into my head, like heart. <laughs> so I feel like for some of you, this is saying, don't be afraid to share with the class, right? If things are going well for you, talk about it because, you know, I feel like this is almost like saying you could be winning, maybe other people aren't. And, you know, again, I feel like you're doing this in a tasteful way. I don't think you're doing this in a, in a way that's going to hurt anyone or any, you know, in a way that's going to be rude or anything like that so if you're doing well i feel like sharing that will be very beneficial uh, with this energy like i said i just feel this king of swords is talking about your knowledge uh, like that like i talked about here uh, it's almost like something is coming from your brain it's like you see something that other people don't hear or signs i feel like that's the gist of your reading Hermit, you have learned something through experience. Hermit represents like ultimate intelligence and wisdom, and, but it's more wisdom. Like this is something he has learned through trials and tribulations. He has faced his shadow. He has climbed to the top of this mountain. Everything about the hermit represents wisdom. His cloak, his gray beard, um, you know, the star he's shining out in front of him, pretty much everything. So again, I'm noticing all these stars. There's a lot of hope and faith for you, but I also feel like the hermit for you here, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn is talking about you sharing something here and kind of putting things out into the world. But also, I feel like it's saying that this month, maybe you're more focused on your wisdom, on things that you've learned. And I also feel like this is saying, like, don't throw away whatever this is. Like, I'm, there's no doubt. I'm sure plenty of you have had, you know, been left out in the cold. I'm sure plenty of you have gone through challenges with the Five of Wands twice here. The Hermit reminds us also to not throw those things away. Like, you know, at the end of pain is success as they say, as many wise people have said, right? Like the hermit, the hermit says that. And I feel like for some of you, this is saying, don't waste the difficulties that you've been through. <laughs> you know, there is a reward for you, but you just have to get it. Yeah, you have the Ace of Wands here. Definitely could be a passionate new beginning coming in for some of you, death, major transformation. Uh, so I feel like you could be going through major transformation. Could be love coming in for you. For those of you who are looking uh, for love here, I feel like saying the word lava as well. Some of, I don't know, maybe some of you are meeting someone from a place where there are volcanoes, <laughs> like Hawaii, Washington, something like that. Uh, but I feel like there could be a very passionate new beginning with a person. Uh, I really feel like that lava 
saying is saying number one that it could be a fire sign um you know like fire and earth would obviously cre could create lava and, and i'm sure some expert geologist is going to come up in the comments and say that's not true okay you know I'm, I'm, this is this is a story that i'm making up in my head right so i feel like for a lot of you this is like someone who kind of like really gets you to move in here and it could be like a very exciting relationship I, I, a lot of um fire here you also have earth could also be a water sign as well cancer and scorpio uh show up here so if you're looking for love definitely could be love but i feel like this could be someone who's like a little bit older than some of you here because there's too many cards of wisdom so it could be someone who's a little bit older but uh, definitely could be a solid relationship for you earth signs so uh, let's keep this going here. You have the Seven of Swords here. Mm, I do. I would be careful. Let's keep this going. You have the. <laughs> it's like the third time I've almost thrown a card. You have the Four of Wands here twice, marriage, and you have the Ten of Wands here, some burdens. Yeah, I feel like just some of you are kind of like putting in the work here. You know what this is? The Ace of Wands is like a new beginning. It's something new. It's like the spark that. Uh, could light this volcano off. I feel like this King of Swords is a volcano that you are experiencing in your life. It could be a person, could also be an idea for a lot of you. If we look at all the surrounding little tarot cards here, it's like there are some good ones, but then there's some challenges. You know, Seven of Swords says, don't be a lone wolf, allow other people to help you. So, if you're working on some sort of new beginning, the chariot says you will be successful if you take control, but the Seven of Swords just says, don't do it all on your own. Seven of Swords can be lying, cheating, stealing. Um, but what I would say to you here is, you know, I feel like it's more talking about you doing things on your own. Four of Wands is a card of marriage. You have it twice. This could be love, but it could also just be the marriage between you and someone who can help you with your business or you and someone who can help you in work or to create something. So I feel like the Ten of Wands is saying, like, don't do things all on your own. But uh, this is a very, very solid month for you, Earth Signs, uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. A lot of success coming up for you here. I really feel this is talking about just like a spark as well. It's like you um, kind of starting something new with that Ace of Wands. Probably something that's going to lead to a lot of freedom for you as well. Uh, to me, the Four of Wands showing up twice is cheating because, you know, Uranus and Taurus, all you Earth Signs are going to be, be affected by Uranus and Taurus. Uranus and Taurus is pushing you all towards more freedom. And I'm mean, plain and simple. <laughs> so uh, that's what's going on for you. But I love this. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure again to watch your, feel free to watch your sun, moon, and rising if they're in other signs. Um, also make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Really appreciate all the support. But thank you, Earth Signs, and definitely enjoy your February.